Hello everybody, uh, today we are going to talk about how to charge a Tesla at home. Uh, we're going to start off with what you get uh, with the Tesla when you buy a Tesla Model 3 or Model Y, what you get for charging the car. So uh, this is what you're going to get and it's going to be in the front of the car when you get, when you get your car. Um, so you're going to get this charging, 18-foot uh, charging cable. It's what you plug the adapter into and then this part here plugs into the Tesla. And then you're going to get these two chargers. This is a for a 50 amp circuit and then that is for a 15 amp circuit. That's like a, the normal outlet you have in your home. And then a charge point adapter. We'll talk about the charge point adapter in uh, a minute. Um, you can also buy other adapters. Uh, that's what this is. It's an adapter I bought. We'll talk about uh, purchasing adapters as well. So we're gonna start with the basic one, which is when you get home with your brand new Tesla, you, you may not have a 20 amp or 30 amp or 50 amp or whatever. So you're just gonna have this one charger. Um, it's what everything in your house plugs into. Your iPhone probably charges with something that looks like this. And all you do is you take and plug this into here right like that and then you take this and you go find an outlet so we happen to have one right here this is what the outlet looks like it looks like every other outlet in your house most likely and you're just going to take and plug it in and when you do the lights will come on so you have the uh green tesla light on that just shows that there's power to this and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the end of this this is your 18 foot um charging cable and it has this little uh, plug that plugs into your Tesla and you have to use the app or you can do it from inside the car and you open the charge port and the charge port is going to it's just this little reflector it opens up and it exposes the charging plate and the receptacle that where you plug in the the uh, charger and all you do is you just take it and just plug it in there you hear a noise the light flashes and then it starts charging so it's for example it says it's going to charge it's going to take 14 hours and 40 minutes to charge um, what's cool is you can set how much let's say I want it to charge all the way like completely full now it's going to take over 24 hours to charge right and I don't I tend to charge it maybe at 70% when I'm at home um, it's only charging at five miles per hour though. And the reason is, is because I'm using the smallest adapter, right? Uh, so it's nine hours and 15 minutes just to get that uh, amount of charge. So with this one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop the charging and then I'm gonna actually put a different adapter in there. So we'll go back to the, where the adapters are. And what I did was I had a special um, 50 amp circuit run in the house. I had an electrician come and do it. So we're gonna unplug this pull off this adapter, and we're gonna put in the 50 amp adamp adapter. This comes with the car as well. And then we're gonna take that, plug it in here. You can see it's on, it's working. We'll go back over here to charging, and all we're gonna do is hit start charging. So in the app, you can do it inside the car as well. Now, this one should do a lot better because it's a bigger, uh, it's more um, power, more electricity coming through. So it says it's only one hours and 40 minutes remaining. Before it was about nine hours. And then you can see here that miles per hour of charge that you're getting. So uh, right now it's at 15, it's still pulling more power. It says 28. 31. So it's charging at 31 miles per hour. It was five before. This is six times faster using that plug, which is pretty cool. Gives you all the information on the charging. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you another one. So uh, I'll go out of here and I'll swipe over to my Model 3. Didn't want to do that. Swipe over to the Model 3 and I can go to charging a Model 3, open the charge port. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this adapter. Now I had to go online and buy this adapter. This didn't come with a car, it was 35 bucks. You just buy it on tesla.com. 
Uh, you can buy this adapter in a set, and I think it's 200 bucks for like eight of them. And then no matter what outlet you have, you're gonna be able to plug into it. Okay, so uh, now we're gonna charge with this 20 amp adapter. The 20 amp adapter um, uh, is, uh, it's what this looks like. If you probably have, have one of these in your garage, you may not. Um, but if, if, so if somebody had a, uh, a uh, like a fridge or something that they plugged into this, that you would have one. Anyway, you just plug it in. You can plug it in first. You can plug it in the adapter first. It doesn't really matter. And then you get plug it in. Light comes on. Okay. Shows you that it's got power to it. Uh, this actually, this friction, it holds it pretty good. You don't have to worry about it falling out. I think some people have little things they, you can buy a thing you slide this into. I don't have that. I've never needed it. It just, it holds it really well. And we're gonna go here. Charging, open charge port, boom. And start charging. Same thing, I can set the range. I like to leave it at 70%. Now the 15 amp charged it uh, five miles per hour. The 50 amp charged at 31 miles per hour. So let's see what this we get with the 20 amp. This charges at 15 miles per hour. So it's gonna take two hours and 55 minutes instead of nine hours or an hour, cause it's right in the middle. So those are the, th um, uh, the different speeds that you get. All these numbers, all these numbers are available on the tesla.com site. You can go on there and see what, what the numbers are. Um, and then I'm gonna show you one other adapter you get with the car and how it works. It's actually pretty simple. So let's say, let's say that you go to the movies and you get there and realize that you you're, don't have much charge and you want to charge it up while you're there. They have these charge point stations. A lot of them are free. Um, and they'll charge into any electric vehicle. The problem is, is they have this adapter. This won't, so it won't plug into your car because your car doesn't look like this. Your car needs uh, this adapter to plug in. So what you do is you just take the charge point, clip it onto here, and then this plugs into your Tesla. And we'll probably do a whole nother video where we take you to a charge point station and plug in and charge. They don't charge very fast, but you know, that'll give you 20, 30 miles of range while you're having dinner or watching a movie. Anyway, um, all of this stuff comes with the car. It's pretty cool. Uh, that is our video for today and thanks for joining us.